Dear students, this is Dr. N. Venkata Chalapati, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. I am going to discuss on innovation in the experiential engineering education, a prototype, EXCEED. So, this course has been introduced in the all disciplines, all the branches uh, like mechanical, civil engineering, aeronautical engineering, computer science and engineering, electronics engineering, but uh, a student able to understand uh, the clear experiential learning or experiential engineering education, how do you made a prototype? So, for that, uh, a student must know the creativity, innovation, then only will have a good success. Now, let us see what is innovation. I am going to discuss in this uh, session or what are the main uh, important concept of the innovation and uh, what are the various examples involved in this innovation, what is the required skills for doing a, some good uh, new uh, product or new services, new uh, technology. This innovation is the one of the major uh, point to, to discuss uh, in this course. So, look at the term innovation. It can refer to something new. Look at here the term innovation refer to something new such as an invention. Innovation is nothing but an invention that should be a new thing or the practice of developing and introducing new things. Practice of developing and introducing new things. For example, any product or any service or any idea will come through some your uh, way of thinking only, the creative thinking. So, that is why when you wanted to invent a new thing, something different from the existing one, some changes as for the customer attraction, all these only this innovation has been uh, coming to exist. So, an innovation is often a new product, but it can be also be a new way of doing the something or even new way of thinking. So, here look at uh, uh, in a class the 60 number of students are there. The 60 number of students are thinking in a 60, 60 different ways. Yes or no? So, in that the student which he or she to think in a positive way, that, that way he can able to get some good ideas and good innovative product and good service. Uh, obviously, they can able to develop in the future. So, this is what about the a basic fundamental definition of innovation. So, any student to become an innovative ideas and how you can able to implement. So, a student having uh, up to 5th standard, the different type of mindset will be there. Up to 10th standard, different type of mindset will be there. Especially in intermediate, the intermediate type of thinking is there. In engineering, any degree, not only in engineering, any degree, the matured mindset will be there. There, whatever you have in future ambition, that passion, that passion coming to exist uh, through this innovation only. So, Innovation not simply coming and coming producing like a component, but it is a, a part of thinking something new. So, even there is an existing component is there or product is there, you can add some extra features and some extra material, something to be attracted. Obviously, that, that uh, you can able to choose the market uh, there accepting lot of the innovative products, uh, innovative process and introducing some new things, new technology, new services, etc. So, that is why you can often call it as a, a new product and a new way of doing something, even the new way of thinking. Okay, This is what about innovation. Uh, in the last class, we discussed about the creativity. Creativity means, for example, if you see all the circuit branches like electronics, computers, and electrical engineering, uh, what do you, how do you define the term electron? So, nobody has seen the electron. It should be some creative thinking electron. It is a tiny size like that I have to do. Even mobile phone, you can see when you get a call, exactly the people are thinking that the call coming from this mobile, how it is coming? what is happening inside. So, that, that is very important. Whenever you can make a call or you can receive the call, this 
voice it will reach to the satellite and again the satellite will distribute the where the other person will be located globally so this is what this information is thinking in creativity okay the creative thinking but whereas innovation means something new product or process or technology and uh, the way of thinking in different manner okay so everybody will go one way somebody will go other way what is the beneficial thing and uh, important thing to understand here okay uh, in this uh, innovation also let us go into discuss about the what is the definition of an innovation what are the plenty of examples where innovation will be accepted and what are the benefits and how you will uh, register a patent by new product or new innovation thinking genesis da vinci so some technical applications celebrations so when you have do a good innovative thing automatically they are celebrated uh, very effectively and what are the available resources based on the available resources how do you use uh, your creative thinking to get a innovative product okay now let us discuss one by one so in this uh, experiential uh, uh, engineering education that is exceed uh, subject course uh, majorly depends upon some swot you have studied about the swot analysis swot means uh, strength weakness opportunities and threats but in the case of sor so this is sor yes o a r sor means it is a strategic thinking any student or any human being the way of thinking is different in a class the 60 number of students will think in a different multi type of thinking Now, what about that strategic thinking what is the formulation of the strategy the planning of framework and that allows the organization to construct its future through the collaboration among its stakeholders especially when you have some strategic thinking or strategic formulation whatever you can raise it it is based on the implementation the stakeholders means uh, how who will be the stakeholders the customers the people a uh, human being etc okay uh, that is why the soul in the sense stands opportunities aspirations and results everyone uh, they are expecting the good results how will get result by practical working you have to do this some research on any product or any service or any technology so that is why soar means it is a strength based approach to build strategic capacity and it is an appreciative inquiry alternative to the swot so the two thing that is strengths opportunities aspirations every human being have a lot of aspiration but to get result you need to work you need to work either individually or team work or some uh, practical way of doing things so generally the soar applications include strategy and first you should have a strategy and how do you plan that strategy that is called strategic planning team building so for example in a class also there is a 60 number of students are there that is why while doing laboratory doing mini project and major product they will form a teams so team even students also they are expecting very close friends also but why they are uh, forming a team with the different uh, students the coordination is very very important who are it may be okay even that uh, students uh, have a command to coordinate with each other and uh, how do you extract one student is expert in one side one student is expert in uh, like, like that uh, if the student have their own capabilities you can utilize the all the activities in a certain manner so that you can able to achieve good thing and also somewhere you require some coaching so if you don't know the technology you, you should require coaching coaching may be either your friend may teach or your faculty may teach or any consultancy people will teach that's what so and another thing is leadership management what is the leadership management leader so what is the main qualities of a leader leader always think that he is also particular he should first be a role model 
for the employees also so leader always think he, he also should work among the employees only then only it can develop leader means always should not uh, force together and uh, should not uh, scold the employees to exact the work and uh, scold the student to do the work that, that is what uh, leadership development will be different from so how the gandhi ji leadership when uh, to get independence so like that uh, how the jawaharlal nehru how the this uh, subhash chandra bose like that uh, even freedom fighters also every human being have their latest uh, uh, different leadership qualities and the strategic summits so whatever the thing uh, you have is some certain type of summits uh, that should be implementable for the in future so this what about the importance of the strengths opportunities aspirations and results etc and coming to the important definition of an innovation what is innovation so look at uh, this anglo poiss lamp 1932 so in the 1932 the designer was george corward thing so he only uh, draw he, he only designed this actually when i when i was studying in 10th class i used to do this uh, focus this table lamp so because even in home also uh, if you you should not disturb the others also if you keep this uh, table lamp uh, the light also focused on the textbook and at the same time you will have more uh, uh, concentration etc so that is why during 1932 itself they have invented but how many students and how many people are utilized properly majority of the students uh, nowadays all all lights come to mobile phone etc technology has been changed and variety of uh, lights can be introduced and uh, where you can able to attract the the customer so that is why the term innovation is the successful exploitation of new ideas this is very interesting point successful exploitation of new ideas 1932 was this is another 1947 one more design will be there now existing 2000 one more thing is the 2022 some other different type of uh, so many led type of lamps will be there so like that so even in that room wall itself so many lights will be arranged like that a lot of uh, innovation has been introduced but innovation means it is the process that carries them through a new products or new services new way of running a business this is what interesting whenever you wanted to manufacture a new product or new services a new way of running business or even new way of doing the business so even you can see the before covid what about the uh, real uh, important in the society and after covid so many technology has been introduced like zomato swiggy eh? from their home uh, all the things will come to with the online things so like that uh, even in future how many times it can able to exist again it may be changed so like that uh, innovation means simply it is a successful exploitation of new idea if you have an idea when you when you are going to be implement that is very important to implement then only it is a successful innovation idea otherwise simply i got one idea i got so many students having lot of ideas but when you wanted to implement there is lot of failures are there they will stop at the early stage only they don't move further also because lack of knowledge lack of experience lack of uh, analysis uh, that, that is very important uh, while doing the innovation similarly tell me what is innovation so according to scientist to do see in 1988 he has given the definition like this innovation the search for this is very interesting the search for and the discovery experimentation development imitation adoption of new products new process new organization setups so you can see for generating this definition you see how many terminology will be there the those scientists has been introduced this uh, this search for what 
the discovery of what the experimentation on what development of a which product imitation or existing or any changes and adoption of new products any new product to be uh, taken into adoption and what are the material and new process already existing when you wanted to change the process how it can going to be existing new organizational setup so this is what you can see the whatever you can search for your day to day activities so all this innovation creativity not a single day activity so so for generating this definition nearly the dosi scientists is took nearly uh, two decades because why because every search for what so if you are facing any difficulty what for writing difficulty what type of uh, thing is required and discovery discovery means something is different from existing experiment you, you do the experiment experimentation for the different people or different places and different setups and what development would you like to do and imitation if there is a existing one a simple example you can say uh, 2000 in the year 2000 the what about the mobile phones now you can see after 22 years uh, everybody have in house also more than four members are there four mobile phones are there so th th that's what because it is a uh, uh, like a human being it is also one part of human being nowadays because uh, everything is come through that uh, technology and internet etc that is why that to product uh, with all the uh, specification parameters even uh, the customer have to afford more money also to get him more features and more uh, applications huh? so this is what uh, nowadays organizational setup also you can see in this uh, high tech city also they are taking a buildings uh, high stored buildings for the uh, some uh, lease lien etc lease only why because they, they wanted to construct uh, their land cost too much cost in that case uh, already existing one how you can utilize only infrastructural changes like furniture uh, systems uh, and internet like this only they can have to decide how many years you have to run the company in that area so like that the thinking has been every day it is changing the innovation as per the requirement of the customers now look at this this is what about today many of us are droning the messages information data how do you deal with this world of the data and information even you can see i think now if in every student or every uh, human being there uh, Uh, dealing with the mobile phone or uh, laptop etc they will start with the google all the things in google what of the information in social media whatsapp uh, twitter and instagram huh? so so many things are there if, if, when you wanted to search one thing you will get lot of information in that uh, so much information what you required so when you wanted to suppose a student a mechanical engineer wanted to search for a Uh, what is the definition of a ic engine but when you wanted to put in the ic engine that uh, google the lot of information coming what about his requirement so th that that want uh, what type of skills is required to get easily to get a right information to get a the right knowledge to implement within a short duration time so that is why if there are two persons are is there he can browse in one different area the other person can browse in other area like green and blue so both information but what information required we can't define what type of skills is required that is what data analytics skills in programming skills in coding and skills for analyzing skills for thinking so this is what nowadays uh, when you wanted to search the right thing right information right term um, you should have a lot of skills to generate so this is what about the nowadays the majority of the student uh, faculties and some uh, other people also suffering a lot uh, for doing any simple thing also in some complex way and look at as for the 21st century skills so so this 
these are the some of the most important skills is required for the present generation the creativity what is the important creative skills is required that will comes under the practice and at what time we wake up how we will do what are the your duties for day to day activities like that creative thing will be there and second is critical thinking and problem solving so everybody having a lot of problems everybody seeing seeing their problem solve they uh, don't want to take the risk all the students and the people are fine who are think uh, they are wanted to become very lazy so then who will do the problem who will do the solution that's what uh, when you wanted to do some good thing for the society that may be help for you also and nowadays uh, even the young generation student fraternity they are only good at uh, uh, watching movies or watching the things and listening skills but what about the written skills and uh, oral communication these two are uh, so many students are lagging so why because written skills and oral skills are the one of the major important when you wanted to write the examination you should able to written properly Uh, for the six months uh, preparation of your uh, courses, within the three hours you have to write uh, different type of questions, and even interviews also how you will communicate at the present term, time within the short duration of time. How you will express if you study properly, if you have the concept, you can have a content to do any type of interviews and any type of uh, viewers etc. And another interesting thing is teamwork and collaboration. the teamwork and collaboration also one of the most important skill when you are in a team either consisting of a two member four member six members how do you extract the works that is why in btech level also for mini project major project they are dividing minimum four students to do a project because four different type of talent to sit together one person is doing some introduction other person doing some Uh, experimental work some others person searching the literature some doing some fabrication all to be together then you will have a some good product and beautiful product and some colleges or industries also collaboration with some different field suppose one company is good at in uh, python other company is good at in uh, uh, java and how they can extract the both the company similarly institutions iit is how they are doing and it is how they are doing you can exchange some fdp program student development program uh, for a week or for two days or whenever you can find free time you can able to exchange the the collaborated works also okay and what about the diversity so all the student having a good knowledge technical knowledge how you will become a diversity when you wanted to decide your future plan so the diversity also one most important thing and information technology and application this is what uh, now it is lot of information is available okay and uh, which you required that deciding by itself lot of uh, the generation is struggling and leadership leadership also everyone in house the father should lead a nation that uh, pm uh, state uh, cm like that who will lead the nation based on is uh, skills and performance and abilities that is also very important in the 21st century skills so coming to these are the top 10 skills so in the 2015 uh, what are the skills are available in 2020 and now 22 again you can add some more skills also you can see there will be a complex problem skill is there in 2015 is there now also is there but uh, here coordination with each others here that is missing here and people's management even today and even today also it will be there we should manage the people okay you individually you can do you as your uh, work concern you can do yourself is a better but how do you do people manage like team work and collaborative work how you perform and here you can see there is no critical thinking in view we look before 2015 2020 now creativity this skill is very very important we should able to think uh, critical thinking and creativity are at recent skills to be added 
and what about negotiation negotiation here it will be the fifth stage here ninth stage so this is what uh, the step also top skills here complex problem solving now also complex problem solving only then second it will come to critical thinking top creativity at last will be there now it is come to the third stage so like that uh, emotional intelligence now it come to very very important six so you should not be emotional so some uh, uh, what you call homesick uh, some stage fear some emotional intelligence so very very important and uh, at this uh, generation it is very much needed judgment and decision making so this is also very important in will will 2015 it is there in the eighth position now it is seventh position still uh, it will take another four or fifth also so every year the skills has been changed as per the requirement of the customer and industries also okay and what about the service orientation so this is both are here in seven is there here it come to nowadays nobody is helping others the service orientation now it is slowly decreasing we should do the serve the society one when you are happy so if you don't happy then how do you think about the other people and uh, here uh, judgment decision making is over and uh, active listening it is ninth here there is no act nowadays uh, even students not attending the classes regularly why because all the global all they are watching the nptel videos youtube videos so many things are available that's why they are not focusing in the day to day classes also and cognitive flexibility a student should have a good cognitive flexibility in previous years it was not there now it has been introduced cognitive uh, flexibility so these are the top uh, 10 skills in 22 22 also and uh, when you think that the critical thinking may come first also nowadays so this is what about the some important uh, uh, steps in the innovation and what type of skills also required for the uh, in the generation to survive in the society okay so this is what about the some creativity and how we can able to understand the innovation and uh, when you combine the creativity and innovation then you will become a success yes or no so that is why the student uh, able to focus on this so strengths opportunities and aspirations and your results so all these are the very very interesting and important thing to understand the better and uh, requirement for the present society also okay so this is what about the innovation there are a lot of examples has been uh, introduced in present situation also so finally it is in a successful exploitation of new ideas or new process or new technology new way of running of the business etc similarly innovation means the search for discovery experimentation development imitation adoption of the new products new process new organization setup so the best example you see uh, once upon everybody having a some iwa tv video content will be nowadays all led lcd even the cost will more than one lakh also the customers ready to pay every home there will be some home theater in that only they can having a, a lot of facilities and all okay so like that uh, if the customers are there they can able to do a developing a new innovated products and creative applications can able to exist so nowadays the information also so information and lot of data is there that is why the data analytics has been studied okay if you have the data how do you select the data right data for the right application and right skills so in that uh, you you need to have lot of skills like creative skills uh, analysis skills coding skills and program skills uh, uh, how to people maintaining skills everything should come in to be uh, so will be there then only he will be success there are this some important 21st century skills and compared to this uh, before 2015 and 2015 there are uh, these are the skills are still required and the present you can see the 20 and above 
2020 and what are the skills skill we added like positions also creativity to the 10th position it will come to the uh, the third position so maybe nowadays uh, everybody are thinking differently so that is creative thinking critical thinking any problem can be easily solved if you see uh, the problem is critical and talk means uh, the decision always you should think positive nothing is impossible you can able to do any type of work based on your thinking how you will manage the people what are the important emotional intelligence how to take the decisions what are the service oriented techniques negotiation when you wanted to purchase a component or a product how do you do the negotiation and what about the flexibility of a student in a cognitive level so all this comes under the very important in the present generation so that uh, the people can understand better and uh, best of this part so thank you thank you students i hope uh, the student can understand now creativity and innovation in the next class i'll come up with another topic in a exceed experiential engineering education so i hope uh, uh, so far, whatever my level best, I have given some importance of the innovation definition, some of the uh, applications of the innovation, how do you assess the innovation and what are the important to future innovation techniques also will be discussed in the next class. Okay. Thank you students. Good luck. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.